different. I have in some really nice water wave hair and I want to show you, or actually I want to see for myself if I can get this hair bone straight and I'm going to do it live on camera. Now you guys have seen this hair not once but twice before. This hair is from West Kiss Hair. I did a review on this hair maybe about a month ago and like I said this is their water wave hair. And then I gave you guys an update where I showed you basically how to maintain your hair when you do um, quick weave wigs with the hot glue gun method. And now I want to see if it will straighten. So I get tons and tons and tons of requests for update videos on hair. And it's kind of tough because I can't physically do an update on every single um, hair, wig, weave, or whatever that I review for you guys. There's just not enough manpower to make it happen but whenever I do like some hair and I do um, keep up with the hair I think it's always a good idea to show you guys you know different ways that I do maintain it and keep up with it as well as updates on how it's working out for me so West Kiss has definitely um, done me right with the water wave hair and I've been loving it what you're seeing right now is the result of absolutely nothing it's detangled and I used a little bit of water but I really don't have to do much with this hair like I don't have to put um, product in it or anything my go-to with this hair is H2O like this is my 360 spray bottle that you guys love so much and this is all I do like when I wake up in the morning I just wet it detangle and then I go so this is like I said what it looks like I still have no complaints about this hair of course um, it's been a month but the wave pattern is still the same um, I like it in this natural state where it's not so um, done I guess you would say but of course if you want to put an oil sheen in it if you want to put some regular oil in it if you want to put a conditioner or a leave-in in it you are more than welcome to do so I just like it in this state personally and I kind of wish I would have sewn this wig together instead of doing the hot glue gun method because I do love this hair so much but I'm going to stop rambling um, I have all of the information listed down below um, the first initial review on this hair the updated review on this hair that also doubles as a tutorial and then I also have, you know, all the links to get to West Kiss and this hair and exactly what lengths I have in my hair. Again, this is the hot glue gun method, so it is glued to a cap, not sewn down. Um, there is a 4x4 closure, not a frontal. And this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to section off. So I'm just going to section off a little bit of the hair on each side. I'm going to detangle. Now I'm going to get to flat ironing. There is no product in this hair. Again, it is just water in this hair. Or all I've used to maintain this hair is water. So I shouldn't have any problem with product or anything like that. I'm going to use one flat iron. This is my baby list. Pro flat iron. I picked this up from Ulta, but I will have a link down below if you want more information on it, or the price, the details on it. It does go up to 465 degrees. Um, I've had quite a few flat irons. I've had FHI, um, Chi, um, so many different flat, flat irons over the years, and this hands down is my favorite. So I will be using this and no other products. So we're going to see what happens with this hair. I'm going to see if it's going to flat iron um, and how straight I can get it. And then I also want to see if it will revert back to its natural um, texture after being flat ironed. Since you guys asked me so many times, um, does the hair straighten when I do textured hair? So uh, let's get started. <laughs> I did 
two heat passes. I didn't even check it to see if I needed to. I just naturally always do two heat passes. And it's literally like silky straight. Now, of course, if I used a little bit of product, like a spritz or an oil sheen, it would do even better. <laughs> update I did um, I believe that was about a week ago and as always I do suggest that you do um, blow dry whether you're doing wavy hair water wave hair body wave hair or curly hair I would always suggest that you um, freshly wash the hair and blow dry it for maximum results because the key to a good flat iron is always a good blow dry so these are the results of the hair being straightened as you can see with the flat iron, it does make steam. Again, it is on 465 degrees, the highest setting. So I do have it pretty high. If you're not comfortable with a higher setting, um, most flat irons come between 400 and 450 degrees as the highest setting. If you don't feel comfortable, reduce the heat, but I always do my flat irons, especially if I want a silk press on high heat. That's just the way to get the best results. Um, but again, use your own discretion as far as how high you go with your flat irons um, but this is the result and this is of course with no blow dry and no product and so as I mentioned while straightening this hair the key to a really good press is always 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 a good blow dry no matter if you're doing your natural hair or hair extensions it's always best to start from the scratch wash the hair deep conditioner so that it's moisturized and then go ahead and blow dry it as much as possible and then once it's completely dry go ahead and flat iron it out um, if you start with wavy hair um, and you don't use product as I did most of the times you won't get these good results um, again it's not perfect because I would have used some oil sheen to make it better I just wanted to test the hair out for myself and see um, how it would hold up and it definitely passed the test now I want to see um, if it will revert back because if it doesn't revert back I will be really 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 sad because I really really love this hair so I'm going to just take my handy dandy water bottle have it linked down below because you guys absolutely love this bottle and there's just some water in here no product just straight water from the tap <laughs> But then I had to remember that anytime I see a silk press or do a silk press on any texture hair, including my natural hair, it always takes a second for the water to absorb into the hair for the hair to revert because the hair is so pressed straight. But this hair definitely passed the test. It does go bone straight and it does revert back. So if ever you want to 
um, purchase this hair just know that you can do so many things with it because you can straighten it and you can trust that you will be able to get the natural texture back now what I also would recommend is that you go ahead and shampoo and condition it to bring back some of that moisture because you did just put a lot of heat in it and that will give you um, fresh hair so it'll be perfectly um, wavy but I'll go ahead and take the rest of the hair down So I really didn't have any intentions of re-wetting the entire head because I was happy with the way it looked dry. But I did want you guys to see that the natural um, hair does blend with the hair that was straightened and re-wet even without me even washing it. Of course if I go ahead and dampen it some more it will even go back even better. But it is the same texture so this hair definitely passed the test. I will do more videos like this. Um, just comment below and let me know what you guys want to see. But I absolutely love this hair from West Kiss. This is some of my favorite wavy hair just because it's so versatile, so easy to maintain, and I'm able to wear it on a daily basis and literally just go and not have to worry about um, a million steps or a million products. I can just wet it a little bit, not even completely drench it and run my fingers through it and go. So, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out West Kiss. I have all of their information listed down below. I also have all of my other reviews with this company on this hair link down below. So check them out. Don't forget to subscribe and share and I will see you guys in the next one.